Good morning, good evening, or good afternoon, and welcome to Dragon Boy Phuket. I hope you are all well. We are back tonight on Uncle Jenny's 100% organic and free range mod pack on the community server, and we will be continuing on with the tower build um, and also with the um, the Grove of Thanks. Um, assuming I can get onto the server. Yes. If not, we'll be playing something else. There we go. I hope you're all well. I hope you've had a lovely day or a good start to your day. If you're starting your day, I hope you've got tea or coffee or beverage of your choice. I myself have my coffee and uh, my vitamin water of the unnamed brand because I'm not sponsored yet. Working on the sponsorship. I wish I could get sponsored. That would be awesome. Um, so, plan for today. I have a list. Um... We need to we need to cut down the grove over there because we need loads of oak anyway. And then I want to build a trellis entrance in and a trellis entrance out, probably out of gate posts, um, because this um, I'll show you. This will build basically this just builds a big big donut around um, this space here. So I'm going to build a trellis coming in and a, a trellis going out. We'll get rid of this cobble and put. Um, Put some pathways in and stuff like that and then fill in the rest with um dirt and then but, but this is the outer ring basically that it grows to but we'll chop all this down to start off with we will need some fir trees so i'm going to chop down some fir trees and we'll need some dark oak which are over in that direction so we'll grab some dark oak as well we do need um a lot of leather an awful lot of leather so what I should do is grab a lasso and um, maybe like a pig or a horse or something like that and try to, um, okay that's working well, um, try to get a lasso and um, we should be alright. The other option of course is that we can just transmute um, the rotten flesh we can cook the rotten rotten flesh into um leather so that's why i had this running um it's been running while it's been offline which is interesting so um i haven't been on but it's been running and, and stacked up all this so that's quite cool pretty happy with that it makes things easier for us we can just feed all this into a furnace and it will cook through quickly so um i'm not sure how many books we'll need but we are going to need a lot um i mean it's three books per bookshelf we're probably going to need at least a bajillion um because we've got two full full rooms to do and some of those walls are about 15 15 20 blocks high so we'll basically do bookshelves all the way around and then a platform walking all the way around and then more bookshelves and then we've got the the different types to do the oak the fur and stuff like that so so we'll start on this um that's a good start for us right now i'm happy about i did think that maybe we wouldn't have enough but we um we'll, we'll get all that running and that should be enough to get us going so let's dump this see if i can get this feeding in automatically into a furnace now we've got all these furnaces here which we can use um but got a lot a lot of um a lot of items to use so let's pull pull that out the i think what we're going to be doing just put that there for now um we'll need a chest what i'm thinking is we just put power on here and then we dump into into this which we've also got to take out and make into paper so right um let's see if we've got uh, i think we've got some diamond chests if not we'll make one let's see um Iron chest, full chest, 
So how's everybody been? How's your week been? Uh, made it over home day. Obviously today is is um it's Thursday today. So this week's going really really quickly. I think I think what we will do is maybe just put this down here for now and then we'll dump all this in here read those thank you all this we can run back and get the other stuff and then we can pick this up with silk touch i believe we will need a normal furnace a redstone furnace but i think we can get an upgraded one we might even have one Redstone, not in there. Have any machines in here? Induction smelters, induction smelter. Nope. Here? No, and we'll use a requester. Um, actually, probably, yeah, requester. We'll do that just to make things easier. Um, redstone furnace. There we go. Um, Is two. Right, and we'll need the upgrades again. So we need this running fast. So just to get the leather. Very much and we'll probably at some point need to go and do some mining as well. To get some more resources we'll see how we go um so again my my plan all along was just to set up um, some more machines on um the bank that we've got set up behind us there we go so we'll need like a, a redstone furnace a pulverizer all that all that sort of stuff so Maybe if we have the pulverizer here, redstone furnace here, compactor, that should do it. And we can have a, an induction furnace as well. And we've got induction furnaces over here. One for basic. Alki, hey, how are you doing? I'm doing more machine stuff, I know, I know. How's your start of the day been? Here we go. Um, and we'll probably pull this compactor. I'm just um, trying to plan ahead, Alki, because um, we've got like a ton of bookshelves that we need to make, like a literal ton of them. Um, fill up that whole tower so i need to get the leather going and then we might as well get this machine this is just the basic one orange hey how are you doing it's electrifying see the machine it is so pulverize might as well make the pulverizer now i have one i might even have one but we are going to need to do upgrades again all the pulverize think we can make that yeah you're having a delicious cold pizza for breakfast, you know. Blech. Blech. I made what do you Americans call them? Um spice baked potatoes. No, you're not American. Um so jacket potatoes and then you scoop out the inside and you put grated cheese and the onion and then you put it back in the skin and then you bake it. I made that with a joint of pork that I covered in black pepper. And I cooked that yesterday, so that was that was all cold. And, and baked beans for my vegetables. So, so this has got no RF because um, this wire here is not getting power. It does seem convoluted for a potato, but it does make it um, a, ni a much nicer potato to eat. Less boring. Now you... Oh no, wait, this is, no, I'm wrong. Signalium, this is an impulse item duct, so that's not gonna work. Um, it's leadstone, leadstone would work, wouldn't it? Uh, 
Me learning stuff. Impulse item. Items travel. Flux. It's a redstone redstone flux duct thing. Flux duct. <gasps> I'm learning. It sends power, doesn't it? So that's all we need to do. Black pepper will kill my taste buds, but Brits boil all their food. Yeah, we do. We do. We're within an inch of its life normally. So uh, we do. I need one down here, don't I? Flux. Pardon. Flux. Well, we've got more of those, so we'll just we'll just ignore the fact that I didn't have enough and wondered why. Okay. Um, <laughs> thank you for the cheer, mate. I appreciate that. Very kind of you. Thank you for the 200 bits. Right. I don't want to do... No, I need Signalium because I'm going to need to use the... Move the tubes around, aren't I? I'm being stupid. It's been a long day today. I was up early again today for... Um, we had a, a boat trip going out. Red Sun, what are you? Energy flux stuff. No, I don't care about that. Um, no, I let me check it, mate, because I I I was running late today. So I wanted to jump in. Um, but I realised that it wasn't working yesterday, and I don't know why. Um, let me. I didn't have time to double check it, so let me have a look. Two seconds. I, I put a new um a new th a new watch of what you call it in um uh, uh, um oh god words why am i not remembering words today jesus christ um i put a new <sighs> new program thing in that's not working and now it's sucking out all of all of this stuff from here and I don't know why let me just move, make this into paper and then I'll, I'll figure it out I should have got more organized but as a, uh, we had a boat trip this morning so for some reason I was up at 5 a.m. which was great they pulled my voice frame with the teeth yeah def definitely did mate they pulled something out of my head I know was uh, it was not good it's still a bit um aching kind of th it throbs every now and again randomly and i don't know why um but i guess it'll be it'll be all right it's just a massive hole in the in the bone i guess that's fusing together It's making so much of this stuff. Actually, it's making so much of this stuff because well, then it's good. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, that that's not good. All right, let's bring that beam down. It's not. Let's not perpetually, perpetually fill ourselves up with sugar cane. I think I've got enough here for forever. Dump all this. Okay, mate. Thank you very much, and uh, thank you for the bids, mate. And I will, I will check the CCR. I'm so sorry that nothing um, came up. I know I need to double, double check it. So my apologies for that, sincerely. I think I've probably not got the name right um, because it was uh, the original one that I imported from Jenny. Um, I thought I'd try that again, um, just for a change it up a little bit. And I think I've probably got the name wrong on there. But thank you for popping in and have a good look. Um, right. Right. No, nothing more in there. Okay. And you. No, no, stop. Stop it. Why? Why are you doing that? Where are you even coming from?
Is that it now? So you're gonna you're gonna stop stop making endless sugar cane. That would be that would be great. And um, these machines seem to be running on their own. Um, the um, the deep mob learning was running on its own as well. paper going as we can yeah there may have been some derps there okay I'll, I'll admit that can also can you buy any do you you do you use the um, BTT BTTV or the 7 TV plugin for your browser by any chance because um, this morning I just went through and I just I spent a bit of time um, oh, all right that was a big bit um, I spent a bit of time just going through where is it getting this from I mean where's that even coming from Stop it. Stop making it. Let's turn off. No. Go off. Turn all of you off. We don't I don't need you to keep making it. Stop it. You don't. Okay, no problem. Maybe um if um APOP pops in I can maybe ask. Oh, right, okay. So, what my thought was, was to take this out of here, dump all of this in here. Stop making it. And pick all you up again. And have a diamond chest on the end. There. With a requester. There. Which just says, give me leather. Um, which is this one. So only give me leather. Turned on. Now you should suck the leather. The leather should go bloop and jump out of there because I'm going to set it up so it goes out of the bottom. Orange. All of that will work. Now that should go in there. Um, On. You are on, aren't you? Is it whitelisted because it's showing whitelisted? Do I need to? <laughs> no, it's whitelisted because. It... Right. So. That's good. Okay, that all works for now. And then we've just got a normal induction smelter and a compactor if we need them. They're there. That's going to carry on doing whatever it needs to do we can put that stone back um, we need to go and do some chopping of trees and pull this in there that in there so we've got 6,000 paper that should be enough we just need to make the leather now so we'll just need to do a couple of runs um, just to make sure that we See, that's all good. Um, need to do a couple of runs and make sure that we get um, the chest filled up with the rotten flesh, which will be easy enough to do. And put that on. We'll just get all this filled up again, so that's good. Uh, yeah, I did, because I, I blinked and forgot. 
Um, so just double check that that's working okay. You should just be filling up with leather. That's fantastic. You should be. You should be. Wait, 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 wait. That is an in and an out. Can that be an in and an out? You can. So now you should be filling up. And then as soon as the leather's done, it should go out. That's cool. All right. Well, I'm learning about machines. I'm doing stuff. So that's all good. You can just stay in there. Okay. That seems to be, that seems to be working, which I'm happy about. It's part one, part one done. A list. I did make a big list as well. Um, food. Take that out. Take that out. Now I could I could upgrade it and make it faster. Put speed in. We'll probably do actually. Um, point, 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 point. And then if we make some speed upgrades. I know it's going to use a lot more power, but um, one, two, three, four. There we go. I know, I know. Didn't I do well? Are you proud of me? <laughs> I mean, the hard bit was done because I already had all the all the power and everything sorted out, didn't I? So it was just a case of building the machine and putting it on. But I'm getting better, I think. I think I'm getting better. And I realised that if I sped it up more, it would use more power. But this is keep the power's keeping up, and I'm using the impulse items, which transfer the items quicker. And it's just going in and out, in and out, in and out. And then it's this is a diamond chest, so it's got loads of space in there. We can just fill that up for days. This we should really upgrade to a diamond chest, but I'll wait till it sucks all this out and then maybe make another diamond chest and we can dump everything in there. Because we also need the flux fighter growing there as well. So do half with the fighter growing and then half with the whatever it produce is going into here. But yeah, sucks it out there and sucks it automatically into there. Um, let's fix our axe uh, and the shovel because we'll need all these stored up. Well, I had a good teacher, Alki. That's why. So yeah, as, as part of making all the bookshelves, because I want to make all the different styles of the bookshelves, like you've got the uh, red bookshelves, the necromancy ones, the ones with cobwebs in, the ones with paper stacked in. You've got dark oak for normal oak and you can we can um chisel chisel them so they're all different because i want to have all different ones all over the place so it looks like a right mitch match of bookshelves but they're all together um, and then we'll do a walkway around maybe two walkways with a ladder going up and down um so it looks like a, an oldie oldie worldy kind of wall to ceiling book library um and then i've got to figure out how we're going to put all the names on I want the bookshelf I want it to look like a library and then we need to figure out how we're gonna do the naming because there's, there's gonna be I mean we've got if we take out the 150 follower bot thing we've got 380 followers and I've got a list of all their names I know and the pulvis but the pulvis and furnace I did automate so they went from one to the other um, so that was kind of automated <laughs> but yeah exactly I'm definitely improving um, so I need to figure out how we're going to, I think for the, subs, the, the followers we can use the, the, I like the book, I like having the book. So maybe we make this big library room so it looks really cool and then we have several different podiums and we could have the different books maybe. Um, so that would be quite cool. Um, and then maybe subscribers around the bottom on, on the floor so we'll we'll see about that but that's my plan um but i want to do a, a mix of like the grove work and also the library work but for the library work we do need to do a lot of prep because we do need to build a lot of books 
so that's that is going to take um, quite a while to do this over here I'm going to need those right now um, that's the machine stuff uh, the bow we don't need right now that's good it's just our normal working pick Nearly done. We got the axe done. And once we get the tower done, we will then go. I mean, we don't need to get the tower 100% finished. It would be nice to. Um, yeah, no, I've I've already got some ideas about the grove algae. I'm thinking we have different trees in different areas. So like you go through like a cherry, cherry tree area, and then a fir tree area, and like um. I don't like that sort of thing and we'll do different lakes yeah contemplation both yeah no i was thinking like have a stream running through because at the back of the tower is actually um there's a like a small lake at the back of the tower so we could we could meander a couple of streams and have islands and stuff like that so i'm, I'm the grove's going to be a lot bigger um and then that way we can have we can have the raiders in there again. We can put the raiders in and just have different areas to put them in. And we can mess around with the lights as well because we could we could do different lighting this time. I really want to play with the lighting. The lighting is always a big thing for me. Um, it, it, I don't like spamming everything. Um, and obviously this is all super bright. But you have to at the same time, you have to stop the mobs spawning. So... What I'm thinking, if we come over to the tower, you see, like over this direction is bad because that's Nagas, right? But at the back here, we've got this small lake here. So we could knock this into this lake. I mean, this is still beach and Nagas. You can see one in the distance. But then we could come this way through the fir forest. Um, oh, floating trees again. We might as well chop these down while here because we do need, we do need fir trees. I don't know why we keep getting floating ones because I'm f normally I'm really good at chopping them down, but yeah, quite a few different ones. Um, so we'll definitely have a couple of like contemplation areas for sure. Um, I think I think that would be really nice. So we'll come through this area, um, and we can we can replan and maybe re restructure the way things look as well as we move through. This at the moment, this is all growing pretty randomly, which is not a bad thing to be honest. So, we oh, hello, Mr. Creeper, sat there minding your own business, weren't you? Um, and then if we come around, so we could come all the way down here and then come out this way, we could plant some different trees in this area come around again and I'm thinking we we run see there's another lake here so we could join up and maybe run some water this way it's gonna depend on height levels as well because we'll have to run from one to the other so this would run downhill and then down this way maybe and then down over this way so we could dig that out there's another lake here so we can link from here coming down and round um, Cherry, cherry blossoms obviously in this area. We could maybe put oak down here, maybe dark oak around here. Um, and then we've got to do something in this area to be near our motorway anyway. So it's going to literally kind of cover this whole area from here to the castle is what I'm thinking. I mean, this is, this could be our normal oak area here. Um, I have definitely not chopped down trees like this. This is lightning, I think, probably. Or enderman or something. I don't know what else it, it could be. But that's that's the plan. So this it's going to encompass this whole area, basically. Um, and on the other side... Oh, chop down this. Um, on the other side, we've got the the portals so I've got to do something for the portal area as well so we need to make we need to make that look um, a lot better Let's jump this up here so yeah I've kind of got a plan 
to his meth method in my madness. I missed what that derp was for. I don't I don't feel did we did we have a derp moment then? Or was that just just testing? Uh, yeah, well, yeah, that was because um, I reached for the vein miner button and pressed number one. So this this area is going to be the oak area for sure, because this is where it naturally spawns with the. Um, what do you call that? That thing, the nature's nature's core. Um, but we see it doesn't spawn on the concrete so we can we can tailor make it a little bit so my plan is to delete it all down it is a derp you're right delete it all down cut it all down here um hello mr rhino oh and uh oh and snakes as well nice I we got all these random raccoons and rhinos and things. Tortoise. We'll leave the tortoise. I'm happy with it. Um, so I thought this morning, one thought that came into my head at five o'clock in the morning when I'm messing around with new logo, um, new new emotes and stuff, was that it would be cool. And I don't think the nature. Ah, get off me. It still got me. I hate it. I hate it. Get off me. Stop. Epoch, hey, how are you doing? Where am I stuck? Get off me. Okay. Thank you, Don. Uh, I'll no, I'll do it on my break. I'll check then. Uh, Mr. Rhino, you've got to go. I'm sorry. I hate those things, Mr. Mr. The Grabby Man. And and I don't know how you get him off. I mean, I know like if I use my bow and arrow, shoot him with the bow and arrow, then they get off really really quickly. But if you just try and sword them, they um they don't bugger off. I hate them. How did your stream go last night, Apoc? Did it go well? I'm sorry I couldn't stay for longer, mate. Oh, eat. Right, our axe is nearly broken, so we will need to we will need to fix that. Alright, let's just dump all of this stuff. The good news is we'll have lots of bird's nests to go through and get the free treasure, which is always nice. Pick all this up. Is there a way you can pause the nature's nature's core from doing whatever it is that nature does? Sorry, cow. You um you were still getting all the the internet issues. Oh mate, I'm sorry to hear that. That's not good. You can't stop nature. No, well that's true in real life as well. I don't want to break this act because I already broke one pick. Um, I see you down there, Mr. Grabby Man. No. 
So yeah, I'm going to remove all of this. All of these are going to go. I'll just vein mine a lot of them. All of this is going to go. This is going to go. We might keep Donkey Sanctuary. Um, but all of this is going to go. And then what I will do is I will make an entranceway um, through the trellis um, on a path. Because it, it can't plant trees on a path, obviously. Um, a stone path. So um, while we're doing that, we can grab uh, the rest of this zombie flesh. Um, I actually managed to impress um, Alki a little bit this morning already. Not derp, impress. She's like, wow, you're getting so good. <laughs> I made machines in like less than an hour. And they worked. So we, I've just set up um, a, a leather making. Although it's going in there, I don't know why, but it's getting set back out again. Um, I just made a, a leather making system, just sucking in the um, zombie stuff all by myself with no help. And then the leather comes down here for all the gazillion books that we're going to make. How many books can we do now? Let's have a look, see. Shall we? Yeah, that's not enough. Nowhere near enough. We've got 420. What we've got now. Yeah, I mean, that's only divided by three. So, yeah, 200 and something bookshelves. That's not enough. Nowhere near enough. We're going to lead. I, I think we're literally, seriously, I think we're going to need like about a thousand bookshelves. Um, which is a lot. It's a very lot. We're going to need at least 3,000 books. It'll be fine. And then that means we need a lot of planks as well, because it's what, six planks per bookshelf. And I want... I want the oak, I want the spruce, I want the dark wood, and then I want the different variations. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, possibly ten variations of each one. Yeah, that's a lot of bookshelves. And we've got two floors to fill. So we might be making bookshelves for a while. Not to mention, I also want to chuck in some of these smaller ones that we can actually stack books on as well. Um, because then that'll give us like um, not only will we have the texture change we'll also have the, the depth change as well because these are full blocks and these are half blocks so it would give us the illusion of um, depth I have been thinking about this a lot we've got to remove the RV we've got to remove all of those things the fence wise fence wise what do we have on us right now? Fifteen dark oak fences. That is not many. Uh, we should make some got quite a lot of dark oak though. That's good. Let's um let's just keep doing this so we've got the plankage. Okay, so um dark oak fence. Hundred and fifty five in there, that should be quite enough. Quite enough is obviously very good English English wordage there. Uh, put all of those in and even all that lot's only two stacks of bookshelves so we're definitely going to need a load more um all right let's take let's do this we've got pine 
We don't have much spruce, which is a bit of a pain in the bum. We've got all this fur. Got a lot of spruce planks, though, so that's good. So if I dump all of this into into our normal storage, then that will all be ready for um, when we get round to making the different bookshelves. We could even do some redwood ones, pine as well. What's the pine wood look like? Yeah, pine wood's quite nice. So I'm thinking we just use all the different types of wood basically. That was that was my thought thought process. Jungle. I don't like jungle though. So I'm not too worried about that. Um dark oak planks. Anyway, so we'll just chuck all this in storage. And that'll be ready to make the bookshelves. Uh, I mean, if we had like 10 stacks each of, of each, um, each type of bookshelf, that would be enough, I think. Grab some more zombie flesh while we're here, while the, while the axe is repairing itself. So, Apoc, you said that um, your internet would be, what, a couple of weeks before, and then you've got the full, you'll get the full upload then? This on the what is that? Zombie ant plate. Okay. Um, right, that's enough. Give me, give me iron because we're going to need iron at some point for sure. A couple of stacks of that as well. I am glad we set up this um, deep mob learning in here. It does make it does make resource gathering a lot easier. There we go. We'll just do what we're doing here. Take all this out. If only there was a way that I could get all of this into my normal storage, he says, thinking instantly about the remote storage machines. And I... Th can we use the storage scanner? Would it reach all the way out here? How far out does it go? Hmm... I don't think the storage scanner would reach this far. I'm going to use some of the... Um, I'm gonna, the reason why I'm doing all this iron is because I'm going to transmute the iron using this stuff into gold using the glowstone. I've got loads of glowstone as well, so I can transmute it into gold because we always need gold anyway. We all always run out of that. Um, and then... Get a couple more stacks. Um, just that should be enough. Do that of iron, then we'll go back to the leather again. And in the meantime, I guess I can be transmuting into gold. Okay. Here. So, um, if we get the matter, uh, recipes, no, this one, and uh, we need, I think it's just iron and glowstone to transmute into gold, if I remember rightly, was it this one that does that? Ah, oh, we need to change into the hellish matter. Okay, so that needs to be changed into the hellish matter. 
which is this one. So we should be able to do that. Okay. Out of Netherrack. Um, all right, that's fine. So this usage that. There we go. That should be enough gold to last us. And then we will grab, grab some more iron because this is just going to keep going anyway. Now we've used all that iron up. I am thinking ahead, you see. I'm trying to anyway. Because we're also going to need the iron to make the clay and the gold to make the clay. And we're going to need a lot of that as well. And we're gonna, So we are going to have to go um, mining mining the clay at some point. This and then actually we'll borrow this Rob Peter to pay Paul. You're just gonna fill up. You are, aren't you? Right. When it when it runs low, we'll we'll grab that. Otherwise, I'm just gonna be fighting a losing battle with that machine. Um, it's full anyway. Let's put this into storage. And then grab all this, and we'll go and dump that into the, into the machine below. And then at least we'll have a good start on the books, and we can start kind of in a rough idea of how many we'll need. I could figure it out with math, but then math is not always my best strong point. So, yeah. Okay, nearly finished. Go. And past. Right. Um. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this time our axe will be repaired. Look at his multitasking. We're repairing axes while we are getting the stuff we need for the leather. Dump this into the chest. Dunk. Pull this in. We definitely need to upgrade that to a diamond chest. Um, chest. Iron. It's a big the crystal chest is the biggest, isn't it? Or is that is the crystal chest as big as the diamond diamond chest? People know. Or is it just see through? I knew that was gonna happen. That's fine. Don't worry. I can't actually see what I'm doing. Um, right. And then if we have all of this as phyto, maybe we don't have that one. If we have all of that as phyto, then that should easily be enough for all of these machines. So I can grab from here. Crystal's the same size as diamond. Okay, it's just that the crystal is see-through. It looks pretty. Zombie flesh in there. Fine. We've got one, two. 
So all I'm thinking is we just fill, we just fill up um, this chest, and then we don't need to worry. It's always going to have the phyto because that the other area. Um, This machine will just keep going indefinitely and making it until this is this is full again and then it should stop so that's fine so we've got more than enough more than enough to do whatever we need to in here if we need more paper and stuff like that so that's fine um how are we doing with leather not bad You know my um, my phone keeps turning on Google Google search or the the Google Assistant. Why? Um. So then book. Um. Isn't the drying thing from Integrated Dynamics better for rotten flesh to leather? Probably, mate. But we um. This this way is quite easy because it's just um. We're just getting everything from the Deep Mob Learning, the zombie flesh from Deep Mob Learning. Um, so, a thousand book, thousand thousand books it should be just like three hundred and thirty-three bookshelves, which is nowhere near enough. So we're going to need at least three more, three times that. So all I'm doing, Carl, up is um, and welcome in. By the way, I hope you're well. Good afternoon to you. Um is we are using the deep mob learning with the zombie zombie flesh um, so dump that in it gives me the zombie flesh um and then basically i just chuck that into the chest and um because it can just go through those machines that i've got set up for all the other stuff so then i don't need to set up another lot of machines basically because the drying basin is a different set of machines so I can use the thermal machines for other stuff and it's just a, a one time setup in my head anyway that's how that's how that works <laughs> Lyndon thank you very much for the follow I appreciate that welcome in I hope you're well um, welcome to my uh, community server playing uncle jenny's 100 organic and three range mod pack hello there yourself um so we are basically in the process of making bookshelves and i have figured out i think we're gonna need at least a thousand if not more bookshelves so all i'm doing is um basically using the deep mob learning system to dump uh zombie flesh into here which gets sucked up into a redstone furnace which is dumping leather in here so Carla like all I did was set up this system basically um, because this is just sat on top of the phyto phytogenic stuff which I can just do the reads in here oh I'm not a, not a master at all mate but um, so the reason why we need so many bookshelves is because we tweaked the tower that I made um Carlo, you saw this right i i just did the i'm derping around again orange and bear yep how are you mate welcome in um so the plan basically is we are gonna have um this will be like a nice entrance way i haven't decided what we're gonna do in here but this is gonna be floor to ceiling bookshelves all the way around uh, with maybe two levels I might just do one like one walkway there and one walkway here and then maybe cross across the room because then I can hang lights as well yeah you remember to turn off preview every time <laughs> um, and then if we go up again um, I've got to do this room as well so my thought was that basically this will be wall-to-wall -wall bookshelves and then we'll have maybe the subscriber statues in here all the way around the bottom and then on the, the next floor up um, and then down here we could have subscriber statues as well 
The followers will be uh, in the term of followage like we have on the single player server. So I'm going to transfer um, the 100 odd followers from there. And I've got the list of um, Dirt Boy Phuket. Yeah. I've got the list of followers that we've been getting in between that as well. So I've got an up to date list. And then we are going to make a new grove of thanks, which is going to wrap around the back all the way around here, all the way around kind of come this area so and this will be different we'll we'll run through and um have some rivers running through and stuff like that and i'll landscape it and, and make several several little contemplation groves and i figured we'd have different trees so like an area with the oak trees an area with uh, maybe the mineral an area with the fir with the cherry um the deep oak or something like that so we'll just have different different tree areas and we can decorate each area differently we'll get rid of this farm we're get, going to get rid of this swimming pool the portals are going to get moved and i'm going to rearrange them into a different area um as well so that's the the current project in between doing other stuff um so that is why we need 10 million 10 million bookshelves and why we are currently um gonna run out of clay so i have used um used the matter so i used this overworlding matter and i translated it into hellish matter which then made the gold that i will need for the clay so i'm hoping that we've i don't know how much clay we've actually got though i don't think it's much no i mean we've got 395 so um it's not gonna not gonna give us much what are we missing okay. so we are gonna need to go mine it at some point as well there we go um And actually, I need at least half of that because I need to put that in the the other machines in the other room. So we will grab all of this. It's never ending. All these jobs that we've got to do. All this tidying up. And it's good that I've got all my machines next to each other so we can... And I'll have to stop using this shortcut. I need to use the proper shortcut. There we go. So that will keep going. Um, this, all of, all of that stuff goes in here. There we go. I'm not processing that gold off for some reason. I don't know why. Something stuck, maybe. Oh taking the matter out for some reason what's the matter <laughs> we'll just manually take that out i don't know why it's not oh my um my thingies have gone um servos hmm interesting okay oh, no, I, I won't worry about that too much put this back Go in. You're full already? Jesus. Okay. Um, how much leather do you have? Right, three more stacks. How many more books can we make? Well, we're slowly getting there. It's going to take a while. It is going to take a while. So let's go and chop some more trees down. Clear that space out. Make sure it doesn't grow back. Um, so we'll use our pick as well to dig out the stone where we need where we need the path to be, and then we can make um, we can make the pathway come through. 
and then we'll need to reorganize all the signposts as well so there is there is actually quite a lot to do and the trees have already already grown back it's very quick I wasn't expecting it to be that quick What's everybody up to this weekend? You've got any plans? I'm going into my barbering hairdressing speech there. Hello, Mr. Zombie. Oh, and I need to check the CCI to find out why that didn't work as well. That's just a huge jobs list today. But it means we're progressing, so that is that is good. I'm happy with that. No, well, I don't need an auto tree farm, and I do technically have one, kind of, because um, I've got the phyto grow thingy machines, um, and I've also got the sap generator as well, which is over there with those dark oak, um, and I'm using the. I don't generally use that much wood. Um, and that's another reason why we are making um, this grove here because we've got the nature core so the trees they won't grow on the stone will they they can't grow on the stone so if we did where are my fence posts? So I thought if we made like a trellis, like a trellis effect, um, so and we made it over here, this until it comes out. So this needs to go and re be replaced by stone. Otherwise, it's going to grow on there. Oh, and you're welcome into the game, mate. Um, so if we do like this, and then we put the fencing down. Hello, oh, welcome. Um, and then. like that so this is what our path area so now we've got this here the trees won't grow here what i'm thinking um maybe we come out even further just in case because those um this has to go i'm sorry On the positive note, we've just got loads of emerald blocks, so that's good. Sorry, Jenny. Sorry, Flim Flam. Nobody sat in it, did they? Pick all this, pick all this crap up. We need to eat as well, otherwise we will do ourselves a mischief. That monster ball, mini me secret dispenser. Okay. They all look like lots of fun things. I've just thrown my axe away, haven't I? Um. So, taco, I think. Oh, let's just eat some apples for now. So, yeah, I'm kind of using the um, Nature's Grove as my, my basic wood wood farm. For want of something better, because it just pretty much instantly regrows everything. Um, this can be taken out here.
and that'll be stone. Take all this out. In mind you. Have stairs here, and then this will be this level, so that'll be fine. Um, mind you. Add move. Uh, that is derp worthy there, Alki. Or APOC, if you're, if you're able to. Come out there. Wasn't meant to do that. Um, I'm not going to use the builder yet because I don't know exactly what I want. So um, I'll use the block exchanger when I come through here. I'm just roughing things out for now. So thought is this is a pathway into into the grove of thanks and we'll have like a, a fence going all the way around it as well and um, so this needs to be lowered down look at that we're on around 100 dirks that's not, not too bad um get rid of the cobble oh i didn't mean to do that um some of this crap into our storage as well. All of that, all of that, all of that, all of that. Keep. Um, and get rid of that. Okay. Oh, those tortoises are cute. Might even start like a lake here as well. Maybe have a, a pond. We'll figure that out later. But we could have a, a pond right at the beginning, which would be kind of cool. Um, boink, there we go. Right. Um, yeah, this way. for now oh i do love this i love this spade shovel whatever you want to call it it's spades in america or are they shovels or are they both we use both in england um i didn't know there's a cave down there but okay into maybe we run the river down there uh i'm afraid the pecker fight has to go as well but we could maybe maybe find another one uh, we probably will find another one there. They're just using the, the capsules. Expenses are cool. What are you? Entity detector. I'll probably never ever use that. We could maybe um if we do set up because we were we were talking about oh god all the letters we were talking about setting up like a fun fair um near out maybe by one of the the other areas so if we did do a fun fair we could set up all of these hey point we could set up all of these um cool little mini mini game things in the fun fair area so we could probably be able to find more i've probably even got capsules on we do come across them quite a lot sorry gotta go Uh, a little present at my mob learning area. Oh, thank you, mate. Hound, hey, how are you doing? I don't want to get rid of the donkey sanctuary. 
Why am I already spreading misinformation? We are landscaping. I've already been landscaping. Thank you, Orange. What have you been dropping off, Orange? Whoop. Little present call if you need more. Brandon. Dude, thank you so much. That's awesome. Oh my god. Um that is absolutely amazing. Thank you for all of that. Colin McClay, you are a little godsend. Thank you. Very generous, mate, because I know it's golden iron and, and clay and everything. Um, no, I am tidying up the landscape and I'm trying to I'm trying to landscape before the landscape grows back. Because it's it's very quick. <laughs> this this thing grows trees like nobody's business. So I am um, trying to make the area that I want landscape a bull. So I think we just come out a little bit more actually. Uh, no, I really appreciate it, mate. It uh, it makes my life a, a lot easier. Thank you. So the thought was that this is, um, can you imagine, you know, those like, um, those rose trellis type things where you, you walk down like, or you, or you walk down a country lane and it's, it's all, or what, like if you go into a, an oldie worldy country cottage type thing, um, and They've got like those archways that are covered in flowers. I don't know if we'll be able to do that, but I'm thinking maybe we might be able to put vines on and then the vines will go down the side and we can put vines on the top as well. And I'm going to arch this over, maybe not arch it, but it will come across. Um, so then this area can't be overgrown with trees is what I'm thinking. Yeah, but all this round here will be because the nature's core will automatically plant around here unless I fill this with water. So if we filled this with water now, then nature's core wouldn't be able to plant in it. Does that make sense? And I think it would be nice to be able to see see the actual core and then we can um we can plant some make some pathways with stone going going into that area and out again on the other side with the same as we've got here with the trellis way so then you've got a walkway through where the nature's core is and then that leads into the actual rest of the park is what i'm kind of thinking that's what i've got in my head anyway um dark oak fence uh, let us make a shed load of this we need two stacks fine there we go perfect um and get my caps lock off because that's really annoying when i type and if i go into my bag i hate having all this crap and at the end of today i think what we'll do is we will um maybe go through and see how many birds nests we have and do a massive birds nest um loot and see what we come up with I think we'll probably end up with quite a lot of a lot of resources. Okay, and we've also got all that leather we can potential leather in potential that we can dump off as well. Um bit of all that, 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 that. Okay. A dog for the house we could do. Although the kitties look really nice and I'm more of a cat person, but we could have a dog and a cat. But what worries me is that they, um, if you start getting into a fight, they, they teleport out, don't they, and come and try and protect you. Or do they not do that if they're, because I know you can make them sit down, but don't they still come and teleport you if you get attacked? Um, there we go. 
And how are we doing up here? It feels very slow for the leather production, but I guess it's it's fine. I mean, that's what another five stacks of books. Yeah, there we go. So what are we at? 1,500 books now. Dog, a dog would be nice. We could maybe do something. We'll build a dog house, and when Apoc gets into trouble, he can move himself in there. <laughs> um, right, where's our axe? Did I put the axe? Have I thrown, thrown the axe somewhere? I'll probably put it into storage again. Um, dragon eggs. Pull this into storage as well. Pull this. of okay I don't think we need to repair it right yet don't do us any harm we are here um how are we doing for power We've still got loads of eggs You're doing all right for speed gen you are aren't you? Yeah, speed modifier you're fine um I could upgrade that but I think it's I mean that that one power system here is keeping up with all of these machines and this and over at the deep mob learning oh no the deep mob learning we have a different oh, independent independent power but that one power here is is feeding all of these different machines and it seems to be keeping up with it so that's all right um oh, and thank you so much for the biddies i appreciate that that's very kind of you Wait, and you just reminded me I need to look at the CCI um, just check in CCI so if I do backslash CCI edit streamlabs configs configuration types bits outcome command and how to reset persistence and everything you're back from one ad you sh oh yeah sorry i missed the um i missed the ad mate i'm sorry it's just about my break time so normally i run it while i uh while i'm on the break because it gives you guys chance to go to the loo and have a drink and stuff like that. Now, I can't remember. Is it just... I just do Dragon Boy? Not Dragon Boy Phuket, but do I need to do at? Oh, you went out of Twitch and came back. Oh, okay. Um, I know it needs to be at me. But I don't know if it's just... I just do user. Uh, I can't remember. Oh bugger! I think CCA is not working tonight. I um I updated it, um and I wanted to use. Um, Jenny very kindly gave me a a base kind of um base script that he was using for the pekka fights um and i wanted to use that as opposed to my old one so i uploaded it but i i definitely messed it up i think yeah it's but do i think yeah, i need to do at don't i it has to be at and then the name set spawn i'm in the water case so everything that spawns on me is going to drown okay but i need to do at Dragon boy. Yeah. 
go into this one. Outcome, command outcome. Sorry about this, guys, because I know it's not very exciting. Um, but I do need to do it while people are on. It's just this last bit that I'm not sure if I do the at or if I do like user or uh, outcome doesn't have to be all the way to the end. At done. And oops, command outcome. So basically it's just going to launch loads of chickens at me and they they go from like pretty strong to super super strong and um crazy health and duration and stuff like that no problem hound well thank you very much for popping in and thanks for the lurk enjoy your breakfast um and as always a pleasure to see you um common conditions no, that's all fine it's descriptions, tier one, conditions, outcome. And then at dragon boy. I copy that. Two outcomes. Outcome. I'm very sorry about this, guys. It's um, I am not very good at this. This is, it, for me, this is just too programmy, and I, I really, it, I just can't get it to sink into my head at all. Um, I, I'm more of a visual, a visual layout. Um, I've used I've used other programs where I've actually helped kind of design the workflow of an app and everything um, but I used something that was very graphical and very visual to do it so it's like you know I, I would have like um, like workflow diagrams like the boxes and the questions and the the diamond choices and it would go like if it does this then go to this and it would all be linked in with arrows and stuff very i mean kind of old school but i know people are using that that layout now as well um and i find that so much more easy this this is just too much like a programming language and it just doesn't sink into my brain at all it really doesn't um, but this is CCI, if you didn't know. So this is what lets me, um, or let other people help me, help you, um, put things, spawn mobs onto me. Um, save and apply. There we go. Uh, boom, 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 boom. Okay, so that's it. But it is... It is 500 to 999, so it won't do anything for 100 bits. No, Aichun would be like smacking his head and tell me to read the instructions, um, which I completely understand and I should do. Um, so now I can change this number down. This is basically anything from 500 up to 999 bits, so I could what I can do is I can just basically lower these numbers um, and I would do that in config so I can't do that for tonight but it means that I can't do anything until I get like a, a sub or I get a 500 bit donation which I'm not asking anybody to do but what I'll do is I'll change this so these drop down to 100 to um, maybe 100 to 250 and then 250 to 500 and then 500 to 1000 and then 2000 up or something reading is overrated so let me get uh save and apply and then exit out so i can also add in another line of code and just copy it and then it will be 100 bits so um orange orange dugong bless him did help me out a while back with my other my other code so i might have another chat with him if he's if he's free at some point um and then we'll i'll figure out um another another method we'll play with that that the code that i've got now so that that basically is from uncle jenny 
So he, Mr. Generic B, very kindly donated it for me. Um, and it's a it's a cool script because the the chickens get harder and harder and they um, they come and attack you and they're super fast. You've probably seen it on his stream. So it's way back in his peck a day fights. Um, so I think we're good for oak right now. I'm just kind of trying to clear the area while we're. ask you to do that you didn't need to attack me it was an accident mate you shouldn't be in a tree anyway you're a giant tortoise what the hell you're a galapagos tortoise shouldn't even be on this continent and i'm just wondering if we're careful pweets will pweets will stay here forever we should maybe put a lead on her and try and try and get her to stay so what I'm going to do is just make a path around this way, this direction. Um, let me chop that, chop that. I need to get some stone bricks, which we've got here. And we can make a load more anyway, look, because we've got a gazillion stacks of stone. Um, and I need my shovel, which is here. We go. So this this uh, this area here tends to stay open. So I thought it might be quite nice if we did like a a random random path going around. And again, we'll come back and terraform all this as well. Now I'm just the only reason we're doing it in brick right now, and uh, again I'll I'll use different bricks to soften it up. It's just to stop things growing, so we can actually see what we're doing. Because this nature core is pretty damn quick. Um, and then we want to end up, so we are here. Uh, if we yeah we're gonna need to be I would say probably starting about here one two three and then here yeah. so and we'll do the same that we did on the other side we'll just keep coming further out We're going to need to chop all this down just to give us some working space. It does get really dense in here as well. And it will grow back so quickly. And the other thing is, is we can, if we, if we can keep this area pretty clear, um, then we can actually see where we can we can go into other the surrounding areas. Um, so shovel, get rid of some of this. I love doing this sort of stuff in in Minecraft. You know, I love doing the the landscaping and terraforming. Okay, so we can see the trees for the forest now. Grab all of this. Get rid of you. So if we come out to about here. We are going to need to come further out, but um, we can come up a level as well. And I'm thinking we maybe we come out in different directions, so we can come out, we can 
we can angle off maybe like say uh, one, two, two. off the top of my head I'm doing this so um Uh, but you get the idea we'll just just come come around and then step up step up here we do need to cover the grass because otherwise the trees are gonna grow that won't be good um right let's get rid of that one let's get rid of you And then what we'll do is if there's any like areas like this um we can maybe come back in and we could use those as like the pond areas because they would be easy to to refill um with water so we could just dig them out and then obviously there's nothing going to be growing on them so we can we can fill them fill them with water and it saves us a little bit more this is a bit more terraforming so it's just covering this path area for now angel how are you doing i will give me two minutes and i will do them for you but thank you for the squats i appreciate it keeping me healthy every stream Yeah, so we'll just keep coming out this way. Just let me get this dug, Angel, and then I will do them. I don't want the don't want the bloody trees to grow back over instantly. Whoop, I'm in a, I'm in a hidden block there. Give those old knees a workout. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if they're that old. I mean, they feel it sometimes. I know you're only as old as the uh, as old as you feel. I quickly changed what I was going to say then. <laughs> On the grounds that it probably wasn't politically correct. Right. Um dump all of that because we don't need any of it look at all the bugs we're getting as well not to mention all the wood okay so this up um, yeah so we'll have to come through and take out all this stone and replace it um, but path wise path wise I think we'll curve it round so it comes to here and we'll curve it round that way Dr. Jamtastic, thank you very much. Welcome in. Thank you for the follow. I do appreciate it, mate. Lovely to see you. I hope you are well. Um, we are just doing some some landscaping of the beginning of the Grove of Thanks version 2.0. Mm. Angel, I haven't forgotten. I haven't forgotten. All right. So try to be a little bit patient. <laughs> I'm just concentrating so I don't forget what I'm doing. And then what I'll do is I'll do the squats and then I will I will do um I will do a short break and we'll I'll go for go to the loo and you guys can get a coffee and stuff. How are you doing, Jam? Dr. Jam? Okay. That'll be where bridges and we'll have a river running over and I'll make that look pretty. Right. Um Okay. Let me do my let me do my squats. One two three four five six morning Kimbers. 
seven, eight, nine, ten. Thank you very much. Jamie, so you're doing fine. You've been playing Cuboid Outpost. Nice. Um, oh, oh, that got my heart back. I am so unfit. Keep meaning to do walks in the morning and then just don't sleep at night and think, ah, you know, maybe I'll go for a walk in the afternoon and then it's just too hot. Um, fence. Here we go. Go back. That. So, bridge there, pathway there. Walk. So is it is it a sciency pack? Like technical with lots of machines and stuff, or is it a what sort of pack is it? I am gonna need more more fences, aren't I? Now the good thing with this trellis, if we if we set it up as like a um, trellis system, is that we could use the glow beans, coffee glow bean things. Um, that's all right. Um, is it a technical pack or is it like more explorationy or is it a bit of a mix? Is it all machines and stuff? Uh, Sonny's uh, tech pack. You have to rebuild organic life form on a barren, snow-covered world. Oh, that sounds good. I mean, now I'm getting all professional with machines and stuff. No, I'm not. I'm not getting professional with machines at all. That's a that's a fib. I'm getting better. I'm not professional. Sublimit has been playing it and you're on his sub server now. Oh, nice, mate. Cool. I haven't had a chance to get over to see Subby for a while, so do pass on my best to him. I hope he's all right. Um, I've been meaning to get over, but life has been getting in the way, as it does, unfortunately. Um, so I hope everything is all right with him. I'll have to go back to the house anyway. Uh, oh no! Said no. Carl, like you said the new world that looked all nice until you nuked it. <laughs> you uh, you have a tendency to nuke your worlds, I believe. Do you not? Is there there's some underlying kind of dictatorship? leader power struggle that you have with yourself he's doing well good glad to hear it that was jamtastic it's always nice to hear i do miss seeing everybody it's um it's the one the one downside to st actually streaming yourself is you don't have as much time to watch all the other streams because you're prepping for the streams that you're doing so sometimes it it makes me a little bit sad but um can't complain because I ah what the hell no uh, no no Dang. who's whose idea was the rifter because they are really horrible they're like rapey people I don't like them they they don't, they don't take no for an answer. Build a path out. Oh. We we got the ghost box somewhere around there, I think. You let you have nukes, it's all his fault. Oh, we have got, got ghost box. Where are you? 
Well, just because you've got the power to use them doesn't mean that you should. What is it? What's that saying about ultimate power corrupts ultimately? I think this will be outside the, um, the reach of the nature's core. I can't remember the exact diameter that they they grow in but it's around about here somewhere and we'll bring the path around and go back around that way so we might as well dig out some of this and then in a minute i will take a short break because i need to make a coffee and i need to go to the loo um and i will run the ad um might as well run the ads while i'm doing that and then it means you guys can all have a stretch and loo break and make your drinks and everything during that time. And it also means that other people don't get to see ads when they pop in. So it stops that whole pre-roll thing, unfortunately, which Twitch decided to do. But it's the same as YouTube. So you want free content, you watch the watch the videos. So um, you were testing. Ah, testing. I see. So when I'm when I'm testing and it all goes incredibly wrong, that's called derping. But when you're doing it because you've got technical knowledge, it's called testing. I see. Technical differences. Mm -hmm. I see. I see. That's how it is. Is it? So we need to make some more fencing, um, and then I think we will we'll need to get a lead for Puits here. And we need to put her somewhere safe um, and then we'll we'll come across come across on here now we could use the frame slabs i'm just worried you're testing how good your armor was <laughs> um, and i do think this if i'm hoping we can put vines on here do we have any vines we could pe test that now on the fence will they please go on you son of a monkey's uncle. Well, oh, that's annoying. But if I put a full block along this top, I could put the vine on the full block and then it would hang down. That would be okay. That would, we would have basically the same effect doing that. So we'll just need to pick a, a block, a full block that we can use. All right, um, let's go and fix our axe. Let's get some more fences made. And while the axe is fixing, we'll just grab, we'll grab some more of the zombie flesh and convert that into leather. And Aranjan Bear, thank you so much for that. I, I really appreciate that, mate. It's very, very kind of you. Bless your cotton socks, and I mean that in a most positive way, not in the in the uh, Southern American meme way. Grab grab a chest full of this for now. Let me wait so I can stock all the way up, and then um, we'll go and dump that in the other chest, and then I'll go for a short break. So we were, I mean, there's still so much for me to do in, in Uncle Jenny's pack. I mean, I've, I've made a start on um, the crayfish planes, trains and automobiles. We've made all the engines and all the wheels and everything, but we haven't, I've, I've got a load of other stuff to make in there. But we will, one idea me and Apoc and Alki had was to, to make um, an, an airport like a runway so we could land the plane and then around the either around the outside of the airport or in the middle of the airport we could have like um, a go-kart racetrack type thing which would be pretty cool um and then i thought because we've got planes we could we could actually have like um a plane race that went you know like the red bull races that went through ra um rings um so you had to fly through the rings which would be quite cool Mr. Nightmare, thank you so much um, for the follow. I appreciate that. Hopefully you're having sweet dreams. Yeah, around the Mesa, which would be pretty cool. I think that would be 
that'd be really nice to to do um so that's converting into call that leather so we should be okay i think we're okay paper wise so let's see how many books we can we can get so there's still so much for us to do there really is if we start running out of paper that's cool nope still still got loads of paper um all right so how are we doing book wise then how many books do we have we have two thousand books so we need at least another thousand books and then we can make a thousand bookshelves and i still think we're going to need more than that i really do i really do think we're going to need more than a thousand bookshelves so we'll we'll keep kind of popping backwards and forwards um let me get the axe repaired um and let me put you up to a nice a nice kind of viewpoint vantage point even there we go. um so i will go for a short break um i'm just going to go and make a coffee go to the loo have a bit of a stretch so while i'm gone i'll run the ad so it's a really good time for you to do the same um so you're not bored by ads and stuff um and i'll be back in no more than five minutes so thank you all so much for hanging around i appreciate it but i'll be back in five minutes all right
and we're back sorry about the slight delay there kettle took a while longer than i thought it was going to um so we'll go and pick up we do need to work on the inside of this house as well oh so many jobs to do so that's making we'll just fill that up again while we're here i really should just have made the stairs there i don't i made the stairs coming down here and I don't I don't think I've ever used them <laughs> so because I need to fix the other part of it as well um, let's all this out we'll just let this run through for a little bit so sorry it's staying at machines thank you orange and bet So my question for you technical wizards in chat, when I logged in today, and I'm bearing in mind I haven't been on for a couple of days, does, does, if the server's on, does this, so like if somebody else is playing on the server for example, my area is not loaded is it, because I'm not on. So why does my tiny mob farm run out of lasso and why did I come on and I had a load of the um, deep mob learning stuff looked like it had already been running if it's not chunk loading because I don't have I don't have a chunk loader set up yet I don't have the chunk loader thing no I don't have the weirding gadget yet I haven't placed it <clears throat> I haven't placed it down. I think I made one, but I didn't place it. Yeah, I'm not sure. It just seems that this this when I came on, this was this had used all the clay up that was in there. So I was just wondering. I was like, oh, strange. I mean, it was wasn't an issue. It's was actually good. Some devices may have built-in chunk learning. Yeah, I thought maybe the deep mob learning and I think the tiny mob farms do as well. Yeah. Yeah, tiny mob farms for sure do because I know Alki's had problems with that and they've they've run out when um, when she's been off as well and I've. I lost my blizz and I've probably lost my blizz again thinking about it because I didn't take it out. Well, I think we'll be good for leather because we'll just let that run. I've got my blizz was in here. Yeah, it's gone again. So that that's run out. Which is fine because that will just be pulling into into this system. As you've got everything you need again, you have, but something something's not working. Oh, because you're not getting sand, are you? Okay. Whoop. So if I put sand in here I can't put sand in there because I've locked it yeah All right well this will just loop I mean we've got this is full anyway and this is yeah I mean this is pretty full so I don't think I need to worry about that system being on too much um and this is nearly full of that just one more stack so once this is once this has another stack in it then this setup will stop I believe because it will reach its limit uh, this one this one's fine yeah got loads of iron in there then nickel silver just pull all this lot out Um, 
that into our storage. I'm quite out. You know, this is the most advanced I've ever had my my storage ever. Like it sorts and it's not perfect. I still I need to I need to just do some messing around with these two things and we're probably going to need to add like this is full but there's stuff in here that I don't want it should be over in this one so I've just got to mess around with filters and it's missing some things look it's all this papers in here for, for whatever reason it should just because they are the minecraft ones are full but they shouldn't be um, that shouldn't be in there yeah these are these should be different woods so I'll have to I'll have to do that offline, but that's probably a lasso decay mechanism based on the server time. Maybe, maybe. Well, we managed to get rid of the fire tick, which was good um, because it it did burn down like this, literally like from this half all the way across, all the way round. It burned that down four times. Ah, <laughs> <sighs> sigh. Right, we need to make some more trellis, so... Hmm, if I, if I put... We need to make some more dark oak fence. If I put the dark oak planks along the edge, and then I can put the vines on the edge, then that will cover... That will cover the sides with vines and then it will blend it in a bit more and it will look kind of like a, a living tunnel is the idea that's the thought behind it so let me get some dark oak dark oak yeah we'll go with that and then we will need some more fences so let's see there we go Top you. And we've got quite a lot done so far. I mean, it doesn't. F this is the thing, you know. There are times where I'm like, you know, we've been doing lots of stuff. We've we've been productive. We've got loads of things done. And then, like, I look back at the end of the stream. I'm like, man, I thought we got a lot more done than we we actually did. Um. No, that's why they might stick to planks, but then I was thinking, well, actually, maybe, maybe we just have it stick to the actual tree trunk and we use this as a supporting beam. Like that. Slabs it might stick to, maybe. Um... Danglin, thank you very much for the follow. I appreciate that. It's very kind of you. Welcome in. I hope you are well and thank you for joining us. We are basically right now what we're doing is making a nature park. So the idea here is that I am making a a living a living tunnel is the idea. You know, like when you, you go into some of these fancy parks and you have um, trellises all over. So it. Thank you. I will hydrate. I've got my coffee. Um, I need water. Where have I put my water? So let me have a drink of some coffee. Not a hydrating drink. I I do know, um, but I do love my coffee. So. Ah, very nice. Hmm. Um. And then if we put the trellis. So the effect I'm going for is like um a trellis tunnel that makes sense now the only downside to this now we could actually I was thinking about using the framed trap doors but we could actually use trap doors but I think that might be too too many items I've had a lovely day thank you Zanglin it's been very relaxing for me um, 
I, I stream in the evening for me. I know it's morning and um, daytime for a lot of you. So, but in the evening for me. So I've had a lovely day and then I get to stream and spend it all with you guys. So it's always very enjoyable for me. I love spending time with you all. And then what we can do as well is we can have the, um, we can hang the lanterns. Now, do you think, I think actually this needs to be higher one higher oh it pulled it from the sides why why would you do that you weren't even linked sad face very sad face Maybe we need to do it one block higher, like this. Because then I can hang the lantern from underneath and it won't be... Um, you'll still have the head height clearance. And also, it'll texture it a little bit, give it a bit more depth. So, let's do, let's do that. Thank you, I appreciate that. It's very kind of you. And welcome in. I don't know if you've played this pack before. This is um, Generic Bees um, Uncle Uncle Jenny's 100% organic and free range mod pack. To be honest, it's one of my favorite packs. Um, has a nice mix of technical and exploration and decorational um, kind of mods in it. And it's not overly heavy either, so pretty much any any computer can run it I mean I've got a, a 2 gig graphics card and it, it handles it like Enigmatica for example I, um, I I cannot run that it's like a slideshow for me um, but this this pack's been extremely well extremely well made and the mods that put it together Happy and, and Joel and a, few, and a few others in the team and of course Jenny they they did a great job um, optimizing it so I'd highly recommend it you can download it at curseforge uh, if you type exclamation pack um, you'll actually get a link to curseforge to be able to download it and play it and you can we've got it on a server obviously this is a community server um, that we've just started so it's a bit full at the moment but we might be we might be um, some people I think have moved on to other packs like you know everybody does and that's totally fine that's not a problem um, so there might be a couple of spaces that come up at some point do I like it like that no I don't to me mortals hey how you doing I am fine how are you how was your stream I saw you were streaming earlier um, I was just doing dinner and all that wonderful fun stuff change this I'm landscaping today mate which is what I love doing in this pack so we're building we're making another grove of thanks because um, we've had quite a lot of followers we did get follow botted um, earlier in the week which was fine I mean it's par for the course unfortunately and um, we've got away with it so far quite luckily um, so it must it wasn't you I I'm sure I saw you guys on Maybe I was just catching up on the, on um, on the the feeds and everything because I'm I'm really I don't get much time in Discord unfortunately but I I could have sworn I saw you going on and I'm sorry I haven't caught up with you for a while I do miss coming in and chatting it looked like you were doing like a work stream or something you were fixing. Fixing laptops and stuff, I think the stream title said. I I have follower bots. <laughs> hey Rainforester, how are you doing? Lovely to see you again. Yeah, we're 100 150 of them, which was which was nice. I was like, what the hell's going on? And um, earlier in in the week, we had a 
think somebody came in and they were they were called was it Mr. Beast 1000? I was like, oh my god, Mr. Beast is in here. And then it wasn't. <laughs> I was all excited. <laughs> um, right, what am I doing? I was all excited and panicking. Lurking as usual. Well, it's always, always lovely to see you here. And I um, appreciate the lurks. You know that. I've been seeing this this stuff about Twitch. I don't know if you... You'd seen it, Keelan, about this whole, like, it's got to be, you've got to talk after 15 minutes, and then, uh, you, you know, they might not count the lurk or something. I, like, some of it says it's true, some people say it's not true, so I've just been, been waiting until it gets officially announced. And like, if you don't talk or something, it's not counting. I don't know. Change the rules fine i mean it's their ball it's their ball game they can they can make whatever rules they want really can't they uh, trying to make a path through through here um because we we have a nature's core in the middle here so it, it grows. I know. I would count you, mate. Um, I value everybody that comes in. You know that. It's It always amazes me that you all come in and listen to me waffle about crap, basically. But I do appreciate every single one of you. And it's always nice. It makes it a lot easier when I have someone to talk to. So I'm, what I'm doing is I'm making the pathway through. And then as we make the path... The, this is just the basic path and then I'll go through and I'll I'll texturize it all up and put in like half slabs and crack stone and all that sort of stuff but this is just getting the basic shape um, and then because we have the nature core um, if I remove this stone then what it will do is Dr. Jam thank you so much for the sub I really appreciate that mate thank you Ah, uh, yeah, and I've busted my CCI. Damn it, I'm sorry, mate. I, um, I, I redid my CCI. I thought I'd make a bit of a change, and I've made such a great change that it's not working. So my apologies for that. You would normally have spawned a, a zombie onto me. Or, in this case, um, Jenny, bless him, gave me his old Pekka, Pekka fight. Um, Pekka Arena thing, the script for that, um, so I was changing it over to that and I've messed it up. <laughs> Go figure, me messing, messing something technical up, eh? But I appreciate that mate, thank you so much. Really, really appreciate it. I can't believe we're, we're up to, up to like, well, 400, 400 followers already? It's, it, it amazes me, it really does, and I'm really, really happy about it. It's really nice. I love doing this. I'm really, really enjoying doing this. To the point where, like, I'm, the, the, no, the, the 542, um, Keelan, we, we got, um, follow botted. And there was about 150 of them, um, I think, so. Yeah, so they won't count. They will, I reported 30 of them one by one and then twitch was like yeah you can't do anymore um but i know twitch will will take after about a month and a half twitch will take them out um so which is fine you know i i know roughly what we're at so we were we we're at about um 380 and then um it's jeansy came in because he heard that we'd got um botted and very very generously came in and brought brought some of his his peeps in which is really nice um so we're we're about the 400 mark i think yeah oh it's it's one of those things isn't it mate it, it happens unfortunately no point in getting stressed about it is what they want so so the reason why i'm doing this is because the nature core basically um makes a big giant ring all the way around here of trees 
so the plan is to um, have this trellis way because then the trees can't can't spawn on there so we can walk in they don't it doesn't spawn any trees in this area here so I'll make the pathway come around and meet up here and around and meet up here and then we'll have an exit going out that way and an exit going out that way that's the that's the thought at the moment the prevailing thought at the moment so we'll have we'll have kind of like um, the trellis going off in all the the cardinal directions um, and that will lead on to different areas within the grove so once I once I figure out exactly where and how many how many blocks the, the nature's forest core thingamabob um, goes out to which I can probably do yeah I mean this is still nature core stuff nature core stuff yeah to here so we're pretty much looking that we need to do the path from here so if we mark that area and we're four four wide we're we doing it yeah four wide no, no five wide we've got one and then three on the path Um, so the plan is basically to have the trellis. So trellis, one, two, trellis, one, two, three. Well, we'll just keep building out this way and we'll just cut down the trees and then they'll, they'll eventually grow back. But they won't be able to grow back where we've built. Well, that's... that's the theory in my head anyway so this will be the first part and then what I'll do then is we'll have um, in each direction we'll have different different trees so like in one direction it might be like all cherry trees another direction it'll be all fir trees like that so we'll, we're just gonna have like different areas within the park and then I'm gonna run um, run like a stream coming through and meeting up into different lakes so we can have uh, like the contemplation points for, for want of a better word so the nice chilled out seating areas with like parks and then the idea behind it is that every time we get a raid um, then we build the statues so every raider that comes in gets a statue and they get a statue in the park and then hopefully, and what will be the statue will be along along the path that we build. And then as you walk around, um, as you walk around the park, then you can get to see all the different raiders. That was that was my thought process anyway. Because everybody liked the the grove before and the way we'd done it, so this is kind of like version 2.0 and a little bit bigger and a little bit better. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into my single player world um, and I've already got like a list of all the followers that we've had in this this world um, and then I'm going to go back in and get the tome of followage from the other world and then make sure I've got everybody is written down in the in the book and same for all the followers that were all the raiders that came in um before in the single player world i'll put them i'll put them in here so we'll set up set up the grove and um, this actually would be a good place for a river maybe like a pond so we we actually have the path coming over here out a little bit i do like doing stuff like this it's all i actually enjoy this part i find it very very relaxing to do this part of game and then we yeah yeah I think we extend this out so it comes here and then we have a river running down and round and under and all of this is lake and this is a little bridge it's the fun part about it it's just like Lego but 
on the computer is how I've always seen Minecraft really. There we go, and then this all. So we have an island here, and then another bridge, and we'll just make this a big lake. Because we actually have a lake at the back of the tower over here. Um, so I want to kind of link them all, all up. And then I'll, I'll pretty these up and put, um, put legs and pillars and stuff like that in. Okay. We'll make we'll make this prettier. So what are you playing at the moment, Keelan? You still um, because you were were you doing Enigmatica? Was it Enigmatica you were doing? Oh, I'm lagging a little bit. I don't know why. And at the end of the stream, we've cut down that many trees. I thought we would see how many, how many nests we get. Um, um, oh, I was just asking what pack you're playing now. I didn't mean to disturb you, mate. Sorry. We'll mess around and make this look a bit nicer. Luckily, I've got a gazillion buckets of water because I, I managed to have one of those um, those machines that puts liquids into buckets, and um, I managed to put a stack a stack of um, buckets into the water one. So I've got so many. So many buckets now with water and it's unbelievable. Um, and yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll come back through and I'll probably make this the create. Okay. That's the that's the one with all the um like they look like the wooden machines. That looks really interesting. I think it might be a bit too technical for me. I'm still getting used to all the thermal stuff. Have you enjoyed Create then? It, it does look it does look really fun, I have to admit. And then this is all going to be grass here and all this is going to be grass, so I need to dig all this out. Stop it. It's cool once you wrap your head around it. Is it is it like super, super technical? Because I, I know from watching a little bit of what I saw you guys doing and then also obviously what, what Jenny's been doing. Um, it's not machines, but it's conveyor belts. So I, that actually might be more logical for me. But I don't know. To say we'll we'll be playing this for a while for sure, but at some point we'll we'll probably go on to another pack. I don't know how you guys get through the pack so quickly. Yeah, I like logical stuff, but again, but programming wise, I was saying earlier, um, I find the the CCI really really difficult because it's just it's like programming code and I can't do that. But I've used things like Trello um and some other visual visual kind of app design um programs and those i find really easy because it's just using the old workflow systems and it's all graphical interface and everything so i find that a lot easier i think maybe it's the artistic brain in my head such a warm day and you have a migraine oh mate that sucks damp cloth dark room no no computers because the the blue light's not gonna help you for sure. 
Do you have any any um, mic relief or anything like that? Migraines suck, man. I, I hate them. Um, I have a sunlight egg. I don't have a sunlight dragon yet, no. But I do have a... Oh, wait. No, do I? Uh, no, I've got moonlight. I've got enchanted. I've got three skeleton ones because I messed up and they all decided just to go to skeleton. Apparently, I can make any dragon egg a skeleton egg. Um, apparently, I'm quite good at that. This is another dragon. Oh, it's another... Oh, is there another core in here? So bizarre. Um, so I don't think I have a sunlight one. So I've got to replant all of this and all of this with. Um, but I do have. I think I have a couple of the eggs. Um. Oh, yeah, if you don't mind, mate. Um, there's a chest. Uh, if you go to my base and then... Um, anyway, well, just put it in that chest that you dropped off in the deep mob learning, if you don't mind. If that's all right. Or I can come and get it from you. I don't mind that. It's not fair for me to, to get you to come to my place all the time. So what I'm trying to do is just kind of shape this a little bit nicer because uh, this inner circle isn't going to gonna be path. Maybe place our own tree there. You're venturing out at the moment. No problem, mate. That's perfect. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Um, and then we've got the path going over here. So yeah, we'll need to cut this one down. Take that one out. Now. Remember all the happy times you had. Um, and I think we'll make it go up a level so we're already stepping up. Take this one out, this one out. Very much alike. A little bit of um little bit of the old block lag. Probably join up around here somewhere. That'll be fine. And then once we've once we let this grow back, we can see what we're playing with and where we need to edit it. So we'll get the trellises up. We'll get the blocks up. We'll get the vines on, and then we'll let it let it do its thing. Uh, maybe. So we'll shift this over one. Then I'm here. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. That's perfect. Take this this row out. And this needs to be stone. Hopefully this will look alright. I think it will. In my head it does. Um, let's vein mine this. Okay. Let's vein mine you. Oh yeah, we are getting a, a, some definite block laggage. little bit that would 
be that'll be all right oh god full inventory again so many bugs we're gonna be able to make bug tacos for days it'll be fantastic Right, now we are going to need an absolute shed ton of um, fences. Let's see. Um, yeah. Okay. Dum, 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 dum. So Jenny's back is he back already i think i saw i saw he was gonna do saturday and sunday um he's got to do all his tests and his hotel hotel stuff hope he had a good time it is a pain in the butt doing the old the old visa run so i have to admit it really is a complete pain in the butt wow we just yo yo in as well uh right so we have got I'm quite lucky at the moment I don't need to I don't need to do the visa run uh, which is very nice one two three uh, but that's one of the benefits of having my company but when I shut all that down I'll have to do the old visa runs and stuff which uh, I'm not looking forward to I used to have to do them every three months um, and they're a complete pain and a waste of time and resources and money. But it keeps the uh, keeps the old government paperwork happy, which they they do like their paperwork. Ooh. How many blocks have we got here? We've got one, two, three, four. We need another row. Go from here. Good. Um, actually, quite nice. Taking a bit, taking a while for us to get it done, but it is, it is progressing forward. Uh, dark O fences. Up there, and then so we'll do the same on here. So this will be like a, a living, a living tunnel. Um, and probably just where the bridge is we'll change it up a little bit um, so here maybe we change it a little bit leave it more open because it won't need to be won't need to be as covered so one two three we need the stone there And again, I'll I'll come through, I'll come through this and use crack stone and mossy stone and plain stone and cobble and, and all of that sort of stuff um, to to texture it once I've got the main structure done. That's all good there. The end of looks like the end of um, the nature core is about here. Work it around around here. Uh, there we go. And we need to get the, the logs on top.
I enjoy... Oh, damn it. Well, that was a dirt. Um, I enjoy playing Model Builder. I'm still enjoying it. It gets a little bit frustrating with the whole way that the model model moves. But it's in general, it's pretty good fun. I, I would love to see that stream of Joel um, doing doing the model cars there. I think that would be that would be pretty cool. We're modding his Hot Wheels. Let's try that again, shall we? Alright, pick that one out. We've got to get logs up on top of there. So, dark oak wood. Yeah, we are slowly, slowly the plan is coming together, which I love to see. So I saw um, today one of the one of the people in in the streams yesterday uh, mentioned something about the Siberian sandstorms going all the way over to Europe. And I was like, what the hell? So this morning when I got up, I, uh, I, I googled it and orange, orange clouds all over the place in Spain. The whole thing looks like it's on Mars. Um, orange snow because it's settled on all the snow fields. It's insane. It's a massive storm. And then there was a, an earthquake in Japan. The whole world's fallen to pieces. Not to mention all the all the other stuff that's going on. Your sky's yellow at the moment, Orange. It's I mean, I remember when there was the volcano in the Finland or somewhere Greenland. Was it Greenland where the volcano was erupting and um, it was affecting flights all over the place? Yeah, the Sahara dust. Yeah. But it's, um, well, Sahara sand, I guess. Yeah, the, the dust storm. Um, but, yeah, the, the colours. It was um, Spain. They, they showed one place in Spain down by the ocean. And um, it was literally bright orange. It was like a scene from the Martian. I'd never, never seen anything like it before. You get it quite often. Oh, okay. I mean, we get, we get like, the, the smoke and the... The fire pollution um, from when they burn the crops and everything over here. So now, do we do the trellis like this, and then every now and again I'll I'll just hang uh, a lantern because I'm I'm kind of keeping it Japanesey themed where I can, if I can. So yeah, we've got the vines are hanging down, which is cool. So I think that'll look quite nice. See what I mean about like it's still you can still see through, but it's all naturey. Just a shame we can't get the vines on top, but we could go through and maybe put some of the leaves across. And I think the trees will grow up really close here as well. Easy peasy Japanesey, exactly, exactly. So this was always the plan with the the nature core because it um, it's just a big tree growing factory basically. Uh, uh, an auto magic tree farm that doesn't need any automating at all <laughs> so I thought why not take advantage of it and at the same time make it look pretty it's a shame you can't tell it what what trees to um, to grow like so you could have one one was a, an oak one and, and then you can say right okay grow the dark oak or pine or fir or something like that that would be that would be pretty cool you sir need to go away 
No. Mr. Grabby. No. We'll have none of that behavior in this channel. Thank you very much. There we go. Um. Struff grows in vanilla. I know. Even in vanilla, it grows. I did see um, the post with the frogs and stuff um, in the in the 1.9. It's uh, amazing how how quickly they're catching up with modded, isn't it? He says tongue in cheek, sarcastically. It's like it's like the Apple upgrades. Oh look, we we have a a big screen. Seriously, how many of you are there? No, stop it. And tell your friends no as well. Um, yeah, the the Apple upgrades and Samsung users are like, oh well, yeah, we've we've had that for however many years. Um, go the wrong way. I'm not an Apple fan, as you can probably tell. I do like the Samsung stuff though, apart from when it blows up. But allegedly they've they fixed that. They fixed that issue. I'm just learning all the time from all you lot and I'm watching Carlock streams and watching Jenny and Jen and Keelan, APOC, there's always someone you can learn from, that's why I like this. Okay. Okay, so that's that one done. What do I do from me? You've got some really cool um, building building stuff. Your your buildings are, are really nice, mate. I like your buildings. Look at your look at your the um, your base is really cool, and you've got your your garage and your dealership and the arcade on here. All look really really good. Yeah, see, we need to bring this out a little bit more because it's not it's not far enough out. It's going to get hit by these trees. I guess we don't need to. We could stop it here. We just come a couple more. Dark oak fence is needed. Well, your ears burning, mate. And then we've got to make a path over to the cherry forest. Yeah. Oh, that's a bit harsh, Carlock. Not that bad. <laughs> Although there are times, I will fully admit, there are times where even even I slap my own forehead. Just write a tutoring bill. <laughs> yeah, thank you, uh, thank you for partake, partaking of our training course. That will cost you X amount of thousands of Thai baht. Thank you, greatly appreciated. Uh, Paint Master, hello, welcome in. Nice to see you. Um, I'm unfortunately I don't know what you're saying uh, because we are we are unfortunately in English only in chat. I do apologise, but I hope you're all right. It's probably would you like to buy some more followers by the looks of that? I'm always polite to these people as well. It's like, no, thank you very much. I would, I'm fine. I would not like to buy any, but thank you for the offer. Hello, how are you? Thank you for for chatting to us. I apologise that we need to chat in English. I do apologise about that, but thank you for popping in. 
You're from Russia. Nice to nice to see you. Whoop. And welcome into the channel. I hope you are well. Uh, we are if you probably haven't seen it um, but we are in the middle of building a nature park um, for our subscribers and for our raiders when they come in oh I'm I'm English um, yeah I well I haven't been in England for a very long time but I'm uh, I'm from England originally um, but I've lived in Thailand now for the last ooh, 15 years, apparently. Gone really, really quickly. You only just got my live notification now? Wow. Yeah, I mean, I did that. I think I did it just after seven. That's good timing. <laughs> um, so what we're doing is we are booting vodka at Vodka Bear. Yeah, he is indeed. Um, I know some people will be upset about it and I'm sure they, they have every right to be but we, I'm trying to keep things um, neutral here we're not that's not going to be a, a topic of conversation unfortunately because it is it is upsetting for a lot of people but on politics is gen generally politics we we try to keep out of out of the channel politics and religion they're the two two main main causes of pretty much all all troubles in the world but anything else you're pretty much welcome to chat about <laughs> uh, um, English politicians the Thai politicians all they're all pretty much as far as I'm concerned they're all pretty much the same so it's not worth talking about especially at the moment but welcome in well pretty much anything i mean we yeah the conversation we were having yesterday I, um we we had to stop before it got too risque yes we do we do have terms and conditions and terms of service and all that sort of stuff i didn't read it i was so happy they made me an affiliate i didn't read it i just signed yes <laughs> Yes, I, I'll sign everything. <laughs> Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Uh, well, money is the root of all evil. They do say that. So, that also is very true. There's a lot of people get into a lot of trouble for, for money as well. As I say, we try and keep keep politics and stuff like that out unfortunately we all need money in some some form or another i mean barter is is a very nice system i do believe in the barter system i think it's great we trade skills or expertise for what you need from somebody else i think it's a great way to do it because at that time whatever whatever you're looking for has a value to you so um, it's it's all relative, isn't it? But I think bartering is a, a very good system, and I think they should bring that back. I do like it. Although technically, using money is just a, a an old well, it's an old way of basically exchanging for services rendered. But you you know, not everybody needs the services immediately. Exactly, Carlock. I mean, it is basically, isn't it? It's, um, you know, promise the bearer of blah, 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 ex expert. That's where it all comes from. Um, right, we've got the roof on that one, roof on that one, roof on that one. We need to do this one, and then we need to put the vines down. I mean, I when I first trained up as a, a barber and hairdresser, I would, I was always skint because barbers and hairdressers don't get paid much money, unfortunately, um, or they didn't back in the 80s, late 80s, early 90s. Um, so I would, 
I would trade haircuts to my mates. One of them was a mechanic, so I would I would trade him haircuts and he would service my car. Um, and another guy was really good with computers, so he would he would do whatever I needed computer-wise and setting up stuff. Um, and it, it might be that I'd have to give them five free haircuts for a service or something, but we'd agree a value on it and, and barter their time for my time. Um, you don't understand what I write. Um, oh, you mean these are with the timer? They're just from Streamlabs. It's just like if you want to follow, please follow. Um, what else have we got? We, if I make mistakes, you can you can add to the counter for the mistakes. Things like that. But a lot of the time, I also speak garbage. So. Google might not always be wrong. You can't always blame Google. Sometimes I do speak garbage. <laughs> We're pretty chilled here, Paint Master. So there's not much pew pew fighting or um, it's normally the whole thing about my streams is they are very chill um, with a little bit of mistakes being made, um, but hopefully enjoyable mistakes. So, I hope you'll enjoy them. I hope you'll enjoy spending time here. It's a nice community. It's a small one. We've only been streaming from uh, about September last year. There we go. A little wait, what? A little what? A little bit derpy? <laughs> I, you have lost me now in chat, I'm afraid. I have no idea what you lot are on about. Um, put all of that away. Put those away. That away. That and that. We don't need that anymore, but I do need to. It's done, that's done, that's done. All right. Um, why are these trees half built? Yeah, humor is different throughout the world. Um, I lived in Germany for a while, and the humor there is very, very different to the humor in England. Um, and when. Thai humor where I live here the humor is very different as well um, so it it always changes in every country that you go to but that's part of the fun of traveling that's part of the fun of seeing new countries uh, Aranja Bear thank you so much for the three month subscription I appreciate that mate thank you it's very very kind of you um right uh what are we what are we doing i need vines i need vines uh which i have somewhere and then we need to go and make some more books don't we which seems to be in the theme of tonight was just making books and not actually getting any any placed anywhere I really appreciate it, mate. Spending those Bezos bucks. Well, I appreciate you spending them on me. It really is. No, you don't have to. Um, and it's always appreciated. Thank you very much for your support, mate. It means I can keep doing that and not worrying about my lack of boat trips. Although we've had, I've had three this week. Um, and I had, I had to have one of those discussions like you do. Um, so we had a, in the, a couple of the boat owners had a had a chat um, about what what was getting paid and commissions and stuff like that, and things seem to be picking up a little bit. Um, you would think, Carlock, that I would have um, an auto crafter. I don't know how to use them properly to make it. 
the price of petrol is going up yeah it's gone up already in england and in america and here in thailand as well it's gone up a lot um apparently in england the price of diesel is the highest it's ever been and i think in america the price has really gone up as well so but also the price of food in general has gone up so a lot of that is due to um covid i need some more vines luckily we can grab these with shears so i think this is going to work i think i might have been able to use my brains and this is this is going to work yeah, that center that center part is going to stay clear and then this outer part where we've got the walkways will stay clear and where the path is will stay clear so we need to this part in the middle we need to put the um grass so it looks nicer so we might as well do that now the that's a lot isn't it um Orange for you guys. I mean, I, I haven't I haven't bought petrol in um, the UK for a long time, but I mean, it was always pretty pricey when I was there anyway before. So it's, it, it definitely will be even more expensive now. Um, do I want to loop this path around? I don't think we need to. Fine. And I think we'll probably take this out as well. It's expensive now. Yeah. Well, I've, I've seen a couple of news reports and stuff that said it's the most expensive it's been for a while. When I, mean, I remember when you used to be able to fill up and it was like 20, 20, 30 quid for a full tank of petrol. Uh, but now you're probably looking 150, 200. About that, maybe. So if I get some more dirt. So yeah, world world events obviously have have effects throughout the world, no matter where you are or whatever country you're from or in or believing these these effects are, are worldwide. Very profound there, Simon. Very profound. It's almost like I know what I'm talking about. Um, might have a little bit more of a pond down here. I'm not sure. I like adding the, the water and stuff. We'll see. Right, let's see what this gets up to. Um, a little bit more dirt. Fill that in. And then I will take another short break just to go for a quick blue break again. Give my voice a bit of a break. <clears throat> Been struggling with it lately. I don't know why. I don't talk that often. Uh, you have sanctions on Minecraft. Well, that seems a bit unfair. I mean, it is a Microsoft game now, I guess. But it does seem a bit unfair that you have sanctions on a game. Unless it's in-game on a server and um, just a way of maintaining your a decent currency on the game. That would make sense. Sanctions are difficult though because they, they affect normal people and 9 times out of 10 they don't really affect the politicians, unfortunately. First people that get affected in anything like this is the the normal citizens. Paintmaster, thank you for the follow, I appreciate that. Very kind of you. Here's me talking political and I said I wasn't going to. My apologies for talking political. 
Um, let me just mine some more of these vines. Let's get my shears out. those away chop all that in there we will have to go through our storage and take all this stuff out and put it back in our bag um, look at that we've now got a mine farm um, a vine farm as well have a nice stream even though you don't understand this stream. well thank you very much i appreciate that and i hope you continue to enjoy it i know it's it's diff difficult um, when it's a second language um i have about three words of russian see the seba um now i've forgotten the other ones now i've just gone to thank which is which is from Holland. Guten Tag is Germany. I still know quite a little bit of German when I lived there. So yeah, one word at the moment that springs to mind in Russian, I'm afraid. Only, only hello. Um, and I used to be able to say thank you, please, and a few other words. So you understand 20%. Well, thank you for staying with us. Um, then can ich ja ich in meiner Muttersprache schreiben? Um, so, uh, your you can write your, in your mother language. Then can ich ja. Um, yeah, so I would understand kind of if you wrote in your mother language. Is that right? Approximately. I know it's not a perfect translation. But it's very, very rusty around your bear. I mean, bear in mind, I was I was probably about seven, eight when we left Germany. Um, yes, I have to say a a lot um, at the end of a sentence and talk about mooses and hooses and gooses and uh, maple syrup hockey and snow you're an oot a boot yeah oot and a boot a boot the hoose yeah which is also as i said we've we've talked about this before it also sounds very scottish um well i can speak a little bit of thai uh a bit of german a little bit of german a little bit of french Basically, I can ask for beer, ask for where the toilet is, say please and thank you, and say you are a pretty girl in about seven languages. Um, yeah. <laughs> Basically. You can see what my priorities were. Where's the toilet? Where can I buy food? Um, où est la station? Where is the train station? I can also say your hair is very shiny in Thai. Just the essentials, Dr. Jam, exactly. Where's the beer? Where's the loo? You're beautiful and um, have a nice day. And please and thank you, you know, pleasantries. Right. Um, uh, let's get some more, let's get some more leather, potential leather going. Uh, don't want to spend the night at your place? You can do. If he, if he gets a bit warmer over there. I mean, you, you were talking about your, your 10 degrees being warm, mate. It's like 27 degrees C right now. Are you going to be online tonight, mate? Um, Paint Master, you say you know three languages, Russian, some English and native. So 
in like in Thailand, for example, they have they have sub languages, yeah. So they have uh, like my girlfriend, for example, she actually speaks a little bit of Cambodian as well as Thai, and then they also speak like Isan is like um, a local language. So do they have that in Russia as well? I mean, in England we have Geordies, which nobody understands. They're from Newcastle. Um, and they're very hard to understand. I'll probably just get hate raided by all the Geordies now. And the Welsh, yeah. But the Welsh are very snobby about their language. They they think that their language is better than English and it's not. Just my personal opinion. Um and it has a lot of a lot of non vowels in it. And very long words. Um, Dr. Jam, you visited your brother stationed in Turkey many years ago and you went out to buy a uh, paper on your own with your two phrases, thank you and good day, and the ability to count to five. You went to test your language skills and you said what you thought was good day to a lone man passing you on the stairs. And it turns out you said thank you to a total stranger. I um, I remember when, I think I've told this story before, I was in Portugal. It was my first holiday abroad ever. Like I was 18 years old. I went to Portugal. Um, and I wanted to speak, you know, the hello, how are you, please, thank you, and, you know, can I have a beer? You know, my normal, my normal words. Um, and... Apparently my pronunciation was wrong. I'm not sure, but I I thought hola, hola, hola. I thought that was like hello. So you like I was just waving and shouting hola to everybody. Um and like everybody would always smile, and I was like, oh that's really nice. This place is really really friendly. Everybody smiles. Everybody is happy. Um at the end of the holiday. The barman that we got to know, like you do on holiday, um, said that I'd been shouting ice cream at people, which was why they were smiling so much. But they all thought it was funny and they didn't want to tell me. <laughs> yeah, paint matter, your paint master, your English is very good. So I, I spent two weeks walking around a Portuguese um, holiday resort shouting ice cream at everybody, which was fun. <laughs> ah, languages, you have to love them. They do make the world a lot more interesting. Um, but you have to be careful sometimes because cultural differences um, can... Like symbols, for example, like if you, like in America, if you put your forefinger and your little finger up in the air with your middle fingers down in your fist, that's like, um, that's like a good thing. That's like a football thing. Woo, you're doing really well. Um, if you do that in Italy to somebody, that means basically your wife's having an affair and you're not a man. Um, and people have been beaten up over it. So you have to be very careful with some things. Some gestures. Some gestures are not the same in, in different countries. So let's get all of our bugs out. Look at all the bugs that we've got. We'll go and drop all those off. And... I think we'll get some food while we're there. But that's what makes traveling fun. That's what makes going to other countries fun is learning, learning languages and the differences in, in culture. Yeah, that's in my opinion, that's what makes it fun. Um, and and to travel is a really good thing, and I think more people should have traveling as a as an option. It's I know it's it's expensive for a lot of people, um, but if you can travel, then it's it's definitely worth. 
Yeah, well, in Thailand as well, Dr. Jamtastic. So, like, normally the bottom of your feet shoes is not, um, it's very similar to in Turkey. So, they're, they're dirty because they're on the ground all the time. So, you wouldn't, for example, um, like in Western society, if you and your girlfriend were sat on the sofa, she could be laid at one end, you at the other end, and then maybe she puts her feet on your lap or something like that. That definitely wouldn't happen. Um, you wouldn't. Um, if somebody was sat on the floor, you wouldn't point and you were sat on a chair, you wouldn't point your feet towards the head. Um, even the direction the beds are made. Um, so you wouldn't have your feet pointing in the direction of a rising sun. So that's considered bad luck as well. Um, and obviously like wearing shoes in the house, some cultures you take your shoes off before you get in the house and other cultures, cultures it doesn't matter. Um, so yeah, the, the feet are a weird one. It's there's a quite a few countries that actually consider that rude and insulting. But I think it comes from the the un, and I'm using inverted commas. I know you can't see that, but I think it comes from the unclean element. The fact that your feet have been walking on the on the ground <clears throat> and you don't know what you'll be what you'll be picking up on them. We might actually have more leather than we we do books now, which will be a good thing. See how many stacks of books we can get. We I've run out of paper. Well, we know how we can fix that very very quickly. Um, in Thailand, for example, uh, another fun fact, it is considered um, unlucky slash dirty if you, like, I've got a, a Thai tattoo on my back. Um, it's like a semi-religious one. Um, and then I am not allowed to walk under a washing line because ladies' underwear is on the washing line it's considered dirty and it will affect my tattoo that's what they believe yeah i always i mean i always take my shoes off when i go to somebody else's house um, but in thailand you don't even like in a lot of the shops the more traditional shops you don't even wear shoes um when you go into the shops you take them off now some of some of the um some of the beliefs a lot of people would say are maybe archaic now um but again it's just a, a different belief system so so we've got three thousand books <laughs> just a few and <laughs> um, we do need to get some more paper on the go though so we should get um sugar it's the one sugar cane that we have um let's get you going probably get you going as well um to make sure they say in canada the asphalt is so clean you can walk in white socks and they won't get dirty uh well you should ask apoc because he is, he is in Canada, but I guess you have to you have to get to the the asphalt because it's covered in snow most of the time. <laughs> so we'll let we'll let that system go on its own. Um, the why is it going into this chest? I'm not understanding that. That is a lie. Okay, so our our Canadian in chat, Paint Master, said no. That's a lie. Most customs, 
Dr. Jam, all right, you are right, are archaic. Um, the problem is that people think their own are not are old and are correct and everybody else is backwards. Exactly. Yeah. So that's, and again, that's a cultural thing, isn't it? That's a cultural, religious, moral thing, which is a whole different conversation to be having. Um, cannibalism, for example, could be morally correct. It depends on your upbringing. It depends on your religious upbringing, your moralistic upbringing, your environment. But in some countries, it's not considered to be wrong. In other countries, it is. So it's an upbringing as well. Got to make some food getting hangry. <laughs> no problem, Orange. <laughs> um, right, so let's get some dark... Dark... Um, oak slabs. So one, two, three, one, two, three. Yeah, in Kent, probably it probably is. Um, to be honest, mate. Um, so oak. We need to get a load of. Uh, let's make sure we've got. What I'm thinking is that we do a stack of each bookshelf to start off with, but we're probably going to need more, aren't we? I mean, a stack's not going to go very far at all. It really isn't. We could do two stacks. Two stacks of each. Still not much, though. And then we've got fur, I think. Well, according to APOC, everybody lives out in the sticks anyway. So, and it's that bloody cold and you have that many snow days, you can't actually leave the house anyway. So bookshelves, we um, want just the standard oak. You just ride your moose and polar bears around. <laughs> okay, so two stacks of oak. And then we'll have the spruce. Oh, stairs, really. Alright, so we need to make spruce stairs. That's annoying. Um... There we go. Two stacks of spruce. Now we need the dark oak. And all your igloos work. I actually made an igloo when I was a kid. Dark oak. And we, we all made, all the kids actually made one. When we were, uh, all the army kids. The dark oak again. We need. There's, it was great fun. We we rolled like a massive snowball. Um, it was like it took four adults to roll the snowball around. It was huge, and then they cut it into slabs. Uh, both, mate. How are you doing, lug? Well, we did. We made an actual igloo, and then uh, we poured. We we wiped water onto the outside packed it all down really really hard and then um poured water onto it to let it freeze um and then some older kids tried to drop kick it and break it down but it was so solid with the ice on the walls that they couldn't remember that it's quite cool um so dark oak spruce um could do fur um but the snow caves um I have not done, but they look like really good fun. Uh, bookshelves, no such thing as a fur bookshelf. Got the dark oak, what don't we have? Dark oak, jungle, spruce, oak, birch. 
No, I don't think I've got any birch. You've camped in snow caves a couple of times. Where did you do that, mate? That sounds like awesome fun. We literally have no birch. Wow. Insane. Okay. Um, oak. And now we will go to the dark oak and spruce. And then we'll make some of the smaller ones. You've, you've camped in quite a few of them though. That is cool. I do like doing stuff like that. We we had a cave that we used to go. Used to go camping in in the in the Lake District, so we'd over the weekend we would like a weekend or two before we would take stuff up bit by bit. So we'd take canned food and candles and stuff like that and firewood. And we'd take it up to the cave over a couple of weekends before we'd plan to do it because it was halfway up a mountain. Um, and then we'd stock the cave up and then we'd we'd go up there and just stay overnight or for a, a long weekend in the cave and we'd already have the food and everything and all the equipment would be up there and we'd just bring it back down. So we'd have fire and tea lights all around the cave and stuff. Really cool. I used to do a lot of that when I was younger. Not so much now. Um, right, so bookshelf wise we are pretty good. But we do want to make some of the skinny bookshelves as well. Uh, these ones. Flowers. So make, um, right. So we is it only out of the oak slabs that we make? Oh. Inventory. Okay, I don't know what that is. Um, first time was on a school trip. Nice, mate. Uh, pretty cool, cool school trip to do. I saw that they'd um, stopped selling things, or they'd they'd started to. A lot of companies have started to stop. As I as I said, Paintmaster, I don't necessarily believe that's. I understand why they have to do the sanctions, but. It really isn't affecting the people it it needs to. That makes sense, unfortunately. So if we do like this, pull that in. How many of those do we get? Add. Um. Okay, let's see. I honestly, I don't think. What's, how many stacks we've got? One, two, three, four, five, six and a half stacks. Uh, three and a half. 160 bookshelves? That ain't gonna be enough. No way that's gonna be enough. I mean, we can try it, but I don't. I don't think that 360 bookshelves is going to do this this space. Yeah, no. Let's um, let's try to keep the the politics out of stream. Unfortunately, um, it is an interesting topic, but it's not one for stream. So, um, unfortunately, I mean, 360 books. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Ten. So that alone is 55. No, it's not, is it? Yeah, it is. 11 by 5, 55 there. And then all of these, so that's 11 by 5. Oh, it might be enough. Maybe. Alright. Um I guess we'll I guess we will need to do some more some more books. So where are we at? 
We've we did the set up the thermal cane. We've done that one. That's good. We started this. The armory and that one we haven't done. Deep mob learning. I haven't done that either. Have, well, we've got one thing on the list done. <laughs> and I did that in the first 20 minutes of the stream. <laughs> um, right. To get organized, what I'll do is I'll put put some gear together. Um, yet another diamond chest, I guess. Um, I mean, I could just... Yeah, just let me take all this. Oh, that's where my bloody nature's compass is. Well, that's annoying. All of you out. Sign can become. I thought I had another nature's compass. Well, I know, I know um, people over here in Thailand are struggling a little bit with the exchange rates now. Um, and we do need some lighting in here as well at some point but so let me I'm gonna wrap up the stream fairly soon guys um, I mean I, I really do appreciate you all being here I'm a little bit tired so my sleep schedules all over the place unfortunately so how many stacks we've got uh, one two three four five six seven nearly eight stacks of bookshelves nine nine stacks of bookshelves so i think we need to make some more for sure dark oak uh, and i would prefer to have more of the dark oak because i do i do want to have um i want to have the different types of bookshelf because you can chisel them and there's about seven or eight different types um so there's the normal rainbow one and then you've got um, like a necromancer one and you've got loads of loads of different types of bookshelf. Um, there's also like the empty ones with cobwebs in. You've got the ones that have got uh, stacks of paper in and stuff like that. So they, they all look different, which is cool. Um, and then we've got these these ones which we'll use as kind of providing a bit of depth and things like that for the um for the room we'll need to do the decking which we could use slabs for because we'll need to do we'll need to do a stairwell about halfway around um so we should i'm thinking we do let me think let me get some get some slabs let's see if we can get a rough idea slab uh Stone slabs. Okay. So if we're one, two, three, one, two, three, four, slab. But we can't put anything on that slab, so it needs to be there at the top. One, two, three, four. So if we come down to three, we have one there. And then we drop this down to that level. That would be pretty evenly spaced. And that would give us that would give us the ground level and then basically I'm thinking we just run this walkway all the way around. And just have it uh, have it too too wide.
I'm trying to get it. That's it. There we go. So it's two all the way around. And then I think in the middle we can do some sort of like lighting, uh, lighting effect or something. We'll we'll figure something out. There, that's right. Take care, Paint Master, and thank you for for coming in. I appreciate it, and thank you for the follow. Take care of yourself, and nice to have you in here. Uh. Like that, I think that is that's right, isn't it? Yeah, so if we basically if we did that on every floor, thank you very much, Paint Master. I appreciate that. Um, the stream's about to finish for tonight, we will be back on Sunday at seven o'clock. We'll be playing the same game on Sunday. I do Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Sunday. Um, so if you want to, if you want to join us, you're more than welcome to. And I appreciate your your time tonight. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, and I think if we just do the same same here as well. I mean, do you think it needs what? What do you think, chat? Do you think it needs um, both both levels? Do you think it needs two levels, or do you think it's all right with just just the one level. Oh, thank you very much for the small number three. I appreciate it. <laughs> um, what do you think? If we do split it like this and then in all the way around is going to be bookshelves and then we'll do ladders on the outside so they come like down here and then there'll be nothing behind the ladders that's what i'm thinking and then there'll be a mix of bookshelves all the way around because it's supposed to be a tower of like the history behind the tower in my head in my my the law i guess um is that it's like the mages um of of the cardinal points of the compass so like northeast southwest um but then this will this will be their their knowledge the font of wisdom knowledge whatever you want to call it um so down here we'll we'll probably have to do something because this is the biggest area um then up here will be the start of the library so we'll have a split level with the books all the way around and we'll have like lanterns and i'll maybe change this out and we'll have um have like a big lantern in the middle kind of like i've done up here like this but maybe not as not as um we might just use the shand the candelabras um so what i'll do is i'll use the train and then maybe um fence posts or something and then the candelabras will sit on top of the fence posts so it won't be as dramatic as this but this this sort of thing and this is where the mages sit and discuss how they're going to run the world. Um, so yeah, so this will also be all books in here. Um, and then this will be books as well. So part of me wants to have a space where we can write names. But this would this would be what? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. That's only 15 names in there. Unless we did a name per line, but we probably don't have room for that. Um, and we've got, you know, 400 names to do. And which is why I was thinking about doing the book, the book of followage. But I could do the book and then we could, it could go on the wall. And then each one of these alcoves would maybe be a book with a certain amount of people in it. Um, and then we could, like, this would be a gold wall or this would be a diamond wall or this would be like an emerald wall. Like... Like we've got upstairs for each of the each of the cardinal points. 
um, and then it's books all the way around so you would have like a wall there you would have a wall a book here with names in and a book here with names in what do you think I'm open to open to thoughts yeah because it is kind of for you guys as well um, for followers and and subs subs we are gonna do um, the statues down here I think so we'll do we'll do a, a statue for each sub uh, down here and maybe again we'll split the level it's tall enough that we could do it but we'll see if we need to we, we can we can do a wall all the way around um, so, hmm. But that's it. So we are progressing on with this. It's going to take us a while to get it done, I think. But we've made quite a lot of progress. Um, the subscriber room and the um, followers room. We're, we're definitely getting there because we've got a lot more of the, the bookshelves done. We are going to need to get a lot, a lot more books, I think. And we definitely don't have enough. So I think I think another, you know, like another stream, maybe stream and a half doing the 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 grove stuff, the garden and making it pretty, um, and then we can, while it's doing that, we can we can get more of the um, the zombie stuff, flesh. Oh, thank you, mate. You put the you put the egg in here. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. And again, thank you so much for the. Um, for the the chest i really appreciate it and i appreciate all of the the clay actually be a little bit sneaky um because we use a lot so if we put this in here and then why don't i how many do we need if we fill this chest up when i come back on next time we can see or i'll be able to see if if this is empty Right, completely full chest. That's full. That's full. So when we come back, we'll see if that's going to come back tomorrow uh, on Sunday. So um, we'll see. If that's done. Okay. Um. I'll dump all of that into storage for now and then we can quickly pull that out i would like your thoughts about the the tower though if you think um i mean obviously it's, we're, we're gonna need to put the bookshelves in i think to see how it looks um but the three levels i think would be kind of cool and we'll have the ladders staggered as well um so yeah we'll see we'll see how that goes I think, guys, I'm going to call it quits. Is there anybody that we know who's streaming right now that you would like to go and see? Um, I'll have a look as well, but do... Yeah. Um, one question. Don't have to do two of the purple endstone thingies. Um, orange to Gongster. Oh, good. We'll go and, we'll go and render orange. Um, the endstone? What do you need, mate? Um, purple and stone. The advanced. Oh, okay. Um, let me have a look. Uh, advanced. Oh, the purple block. Um, yeah, I just uh, should be able to do that. Um, that. that is those. Yes, I can. I can definitely have to do that for you. Get uh, that out. out. I've forgotten I've done all this leather as well and cactus. Um, yeah, I will. I'll put it in that chest, mate, if you want. 
Because I can make I can make these chorus fruits, and then I'll, I've got the end end stone, so that's not a problem. No problem at all. So we are well on the way for our leather production and also our paper production. So we're good. Um, I will make the purple for you um, and I can drop that at your house, mate. That's not a problem. Go and grab this um, and then uh, Oh, I have some. Yeah. There you go, mate. There's a stack. I'll bring a stack over to your, your house. Um, you might need some of these popped, popped thingy chorus fruits. I'll bring those over as well. Are you at your base, Orange? Or just drop it at your base? Is that all right? discovered the base I think I might need to go back and touch your waist there um you are left and straight aren't you yeah left and straight on and I'm I I know I'm um, I'm left at the junction. Shh. I know I've just really this is this is me just sightseeing. I'm gonna I'm gonna come down in a minute and zoom into the tunnel effectively. <laughs> These roads are awesome by the way, mate. They look really really good. There we go. Got my light bike, speed along. Right, I will drop this off at your base, Orange and Bear, and then um, why don't we go over and raid the other Orange and give him some streamer love. That is an awesome, awesome looking place that there. What a nice night to go for a drive, look. Not a problem at all, mate. Not a problem. If ever you need anything, dude, just come down and look at my storage. Just help yourself. It's it's there for everyone anyway, so I might not have everything, but there's there's pretty much most most stuff now I think. So if ever you do need anything, and don't forget the um, deep mob learning matter, you can transmutate stuff, so you can change like iron into into gold, and you can change um, oh, yeah, you can just use it to craft stuff as well. And I've got shitloads of that. I've got like two two k of each one I think. So. Um, if ever you need anything, mate, just help yourself at my base. It's not a problem. Ooh, fancy. Nearly there. Whoop. Um, and I'll, let me hit your waystone while I remember. Because I think you said you moved it. There we go. Um, ding dong. Um, free XP. Do you have a, a chest? Okay, look, I'll put it in this bottom. This one, okay? Purple. Um, uh, have you got all the other stuff that you need for the advanced thing? Is there anything else you need? Whoop. Um, you've got your golden day. You've got everything else. Okay, mate. No problem. But it's just just in this chest here, in the corner. All right. 
So thank you so much for the clay as well. I appreciate that. And uh, thank you everybody for hanging around. Let me um, put you all onto the end stream screen. And um, let me get back to my base. Do it from home. And then what we'll do is we'll go and roll. We'll go and raid Orangian. Um, Orange Dugong. We'll go and raid Orange Dugong. Spawn. And go and show him some love. And DB. There we go. But thank you, as always, for hanging out. Greatly appreciate it. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the stream tonight. It's been lovely having you all in here and chatting. And I'll be back on Sunday, 7 o'clock uh, Thai time. So we'll, we'll see you all on Sunday. Um, that's it. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Go and show the love to Orange Dugong. Um, I'll drop you onto the end of stream now and then I'll organize the, I'll come back and organize the raid um, and send you all over there. Thank you so much, everybody. Take care. Have a great night. Bye bye. Right, I am just organizing the raid now. Oh, he's playing Raft, so that'll be be good to go. Here we go. Um, so raid, raid orange. There we go. So give him some love. If you haven't followed Orange already, do give him a follow. He's a lovely guy. Um, and he's building the morning on Minecraft. He's amazing. He's building Venice. Venice Square, so definitely worth going to, to see him. Have a great night, everybody. Take care. Bye-bye.